Welcome. In this video, I'll show how you can create a simple te teleport system. So when you're entering uh, the first teleport here, you'll teleport to the next door and you will not be jumping back and forth. So if you are walking around a bit, you can take the teleport back to the other door again. Yeah, let's get to it. So what I have here in my scene is my player. And my player has a movement script, he has a, a box collider, and we have the rigid body on him. And then I have two squares here. This will be portal 1. This will be portal 2. And the only thing that we have here is a sprite, and we have an image on it. And then we have a box collider. Remember, they have to be set as trigger. And I have just a adjusted uh, my box collider so it will only trigger when I enter this little square. You can do that by dragging these um, small squares here in uh, on the green line if you hit the edit collider here. Okay, now let's create an um, empty game object and this one you can call portal timer. So. Let me delete it and show. Great, uh, empty game object, and just call this teleport timer. Zero it out. Now create a new script and call this teleport. Attach this script to portal one and portal two. So if you highlight both of them. You can drag it over here. Now let's open it up. And here we'll need to reference to the player. So let's make a public transform for the player. And we need a public transform for the teleport. Oh, sorry. Teleport location. So where we where the player should teleport to. Then we need to create, uh, we can delete the update function here and we will create an on trigger enter function. Remember to choose the 2D. And here, if collision.gameobject.tag is equal to player, then the player.transform.position is equal to teleport. Uh, sorry. Teleport location dot transform dot position like this. So let's save this and try hit back. And now you can see on both portals we have uh, we need to reference something. So if you highlight both, now we can add the player. And on teleport one, we want to teleport to number two. And on number two, we want to teleport to number one. So now let's test this, this out. Hit play. And now you can see you're jumping back and forth because uh, whenever you enter this collider, you will teleport here. And when you enter this one, you will teleport here. So, but now it works, you, you can teleport back and forth. So now let's um, fix this so we are not teleporting all the time. Let's create a new script and call this teleport timer add this to the game object uh, the empty game object over here teleport timer like this open it up and here we will need three things we need a public float for our portal timer we need a public uh, float for the portal total timer and we need a private private ah uh, sorry a, yeah, let's make it public so we can see it a public bool for portal is active oops like this and in the start we'll have to say portal timer is equal to portal total timer 
and then down in the update we can say if our portal is active is equal to true then our portal timer is minus equal time dot delta time so it will start counting down when it is active so when i'm entering a portal we will set this to true and when it's true it will start count down and if the portal timer is less or equal to zero then portal timer is equal to portal total timer and then we will set the portal is active to false so this means when it hits zero it will take the timer back it will set it to false and now we can't we can teleport again let's save this and now we have to make some small adjustments in the other script so save it and head back to the teleport script in here we need a reference first to the um, to the teleport timer script so teleport timer and we will just call it teleport timer uh, time yeah let's call it like this and then in our start function we will have to say teleport timer is equal to find object of type teleport timer script so now we have a reference to this uh, teleport timer so where do we need to use it we have to use it here so if we collide with the player and teleport timer dot portal timer is equal to teleport timer dot portal total timer and the teleport timer dot portal is active is equal to true oh sorry it has to be false then we will teleport and then we need to say teleport timer dot portal is active is equal to true here so when you start the game the portal will uh, the portal is active will be false and when you collide with uh, your portal your timer will, will uh, has to be the same i'll show that in a minute and then because it's false it will enter here so it will teleport to to the to the other teleport location and then it will set it to true and because it's true you cannot trigger it again and if you go to the teleport timer now because it's true it will start counting down and when it hits zero it will set back to false and when it's false we can teleport again good so let's save and hit back one thing i forgot to mention um, your player remember to tag him as player it should be uh, a default uh, name here if it's not then press add tag and then hit the plus sign and write player and save and take your player again and then tag him as player now on the teleport timer you simply just have to add how long time uh, should it take before he can teleport again so let's start setting it to free in both hit play and now when you enter the portal you can see it's count down and now we can teleport again and you will not jump back and forth so you can take whatever portal you want and it will not uh yeah you will not jump back and forth before the time goes down that was what i had to show you in this tool I really hope it uh, helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next time.